Dearly beloved, loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord has an important message for you today. Do you want your life to be blessed? Do you wish to be honored? The Lord says that you need to pay attention to one thing. Regardless of whether you are studying, working, running a business or doing a ministry, the Lord says what you should do to be blessed. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10 Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. Whatever you find to do, do it with your full strength. Then the Lord will bless all the works of your hands and multiply you. But some people don't do so. I have started so much, but I have this insignificant job. Do it half-heartedly. Do it without interest. Not doing it with full involvement. Doing it just for formality. Things like that, some even when they are serving the Lord God will not have the realization that the Lord has trusted me and given me such a great responsibility. I should do it truthfully and justly, working just for the salary, carelessly. That will bring forth a curse. Some are very lazy. If they go to work, they get ready slowly and go lethargically. Half the time is spent drinking tea, speaking to others and on the phone. They will do some work in the remaining time and come back. When we are callous like this, God cannot bless us. What do you find to do? What work has the Lord given you? You should do it with all your might. Some will say I have finished my studies and looking for a job for how many years? For seven or eight years. Did you not find a job till now? I have studied so much, but I am unable to find a job. If you are unable to find a job that suits your education, fine. But can't you find an ordinary job? Yes. They are saying so, but I don't want that. Why? If you do that small work truthfully, with integrity and full commitment, God will see that and open a way for a job that is above your education. Many don't realize that. If you do whatever you find to do with your full might and enthusiasm sincerely and carefully, the Lord God will bless you. I had gone to a foreign country for a ministry and at that time, a brother told me something that happened in his life. He has studied a lot. He has a great education. He has the education of an HR manager who can be in a top position. He has the certificates for it. But he didn't get a job that was relevant to his education. In all places, they said there weren't any jobs appropriate for his education. What to do now? There is no source of income. When he came into the Lord's presence, the Lord made him realize, whatever you find to do, do it. He locked up all his certificates in his house. It is enough. If I found some job, he went to a factory. He was asked, what work do you want? He said, I will do any work. What have you started? I have an ordinary education. I will do any work that you give me. I will do it. There is a tough job. You need to take these things and put them there. Take those things and put them here. You need to arrange it and do all these things. I will do it. He worked. He happily praised the Lord, saying the Lord has given me this particular job. As he worked, he sang. He was highly educated, one that qualifies him to become a manager. The work he is doing now is an ordinary one. What is my education? What job have I got? This is the salary. He didn't murmur like this. At least I got this. With his full strength, he worked happily while praising the Lord. The others who worked there used to murmur. Why are they taxing us like this? They pay us so little salary. He didn't think about anything. This is the work that the Lord gave me. This is the salary that the Lord gives. He will bless it regardless of how much it is. He did that job happily. His supervisor noticed this. Hundreds of people were working. But this young man is different. He called him and asked, You are working so happily while singing and praising. Many are murmuring. As they work, he said, This is the work that the Lord God has given me. I should fear the Lord and work hard. That is what Jesus has told me. I am doing it happily. The person who was seeing this called him quietly and asked him in private, I am going to start a business. I want a man like you who is hard working. Will you come with me? I will keep you as a partner. A partner? But he said, I don't have any money. 
With the money you give me, I eat and pass my days. To which the other replied, You give only your efforts. I will invest the money. You will be a working partner. He accepted. He worked hard. He was truthful. In his job, he did it. With all his might, he didn't murmur at all. He wasn't lazy at all. God raised him as a partner. Only after that, he came to know that he had studied so much and that he is such a well-educated man. The partner was greatly surprised. A few days passed by, seeing that he worked truthfully. He said, I have two or three other businesses. You keep them and made him the owner of the business. I met him in person. He told all these incidents that happened. That is what the Lord says. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with your might. Isn't this just a watchman job? Isn't it just a job as a security? Isn't it just a cleaning job? They are asking me to buy tea like an office boy. I am a graduate. They have given me the job to buy tea. Whatever the job may be, firstly come it with your full strength. This is a job that the Lord has given me. I will do it truthfully and with integrity. Try doing it without laziness and murmuring. The Lord will honor you quickly and raise you to a high place. You aren't true in the little things and are murmuring. How will the Lord trust you and give you huge responsibilities? Joseph belonged to a very wealthy family. He was the child of a millionaire. He has come as a slave to a house. I cannot do all that. Do you know who my father is? Do you know who my mother is? Do you know my family and community? He didn't show heroism. He worked hard as a slave and was truthful. In that house, the master sees he's very truthful. He gave all the responsibilities in his hands. He went to a prison. He didn't sit in a corner and keep crying, saying, They falsely accused me. Even this is the Lord's will. He worked hard there. The jailer gave all the responsibilities in the hands of Joseph. The outcome of that was him being raised by God as the prime minister of the country. The Lord will not honor lazy people. Do you know my education? Do you know my community? What job is this for me? The Lord will not bless anyone who murmurs like this. Whatever work I am given, I will do it. My education and qualifications are secondary. This is the job that the Lord has given me. This is the ministry given by the Lord God. If you do it sincerely, the Lord will bless and honor you. Do like that. Do it with all your might. Will you do it? Are you murmuring? I don't have the right job or salary for my education. Do you know how many lakhs of people are wandering without this? So you should be grateful to God. Be truthful in the job given to you. The Lord will bless and honor you. Dear Lord, you are speaking with me today. Forgive my laziness and forgive my murmuring. I should work hard at the job that you have given me. I should work hard and put in the effort. I should do it with all my might. I should do it happily. I commit myself to it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.